Hey guys, I was recently asked how I created the spotlight effect in the sequence I posted um, for Christmas ping pong. And I uh, thought I'd make a quick video just to walk through how to create that effect. It starts with a pinwheel that we'll drop on our um, all group. And we'll go in here and select a color palette that uh, looks more like an incandescent light. Um, we'll get a light yellow. Dial the arms back to two and uh, increase the thickness a little bit. Take the speed all the way back to zero because we're going to control the speed with the offset or the location with the offset. We want to move the center point of this pinwheel all the way to the top of our display. So we're going to take this Y axis and move it all the way up to 100. Now we're going to rotate this one arm all the way around until it's pointing at the base of the tree. Now it's not coming out far enough, so what we can do is increase the size, which increases the diameter of this pinwheel. I'm going to decrease the thickness just a little bit to cover just the base of the tree. Something like that, get the offset back, you know, just find where it just hits it. And we'll make note of this offset position, which is 235. And so now what we can do... But one more thing we're going to do is we're going to make this 3D to give it a little bit more realistic effect. Um, and since we did that, let's thicken it up just a little bit more. So we'll put that about at 8. Okay, we're going to highlight this, Control C. We're going to put right in front of it with a Control V. And with this, we're going to apply a value curve. So what I think we can do is let's just start it over here somewhere maybe around 130 and then we'll just move it over and we're going to end it at that 235 point so this first one will allow us to control the motion and we can make it go back and forth but we're just going to do a simple move from left to right which is just a, we'll use a ramp for that so we'll choose a ramp value curve Let's choose the starting position of, what do we say, somewhere around 120, 130, any of that will work. And then we're going to move to the 235 position. We're going to click OK. And what we can do is shorten this to make it faster. And if we hit play, it's going to move over, lock in on the bottom. OK. So now what we want to do is create that oval, kind of the appearance of the spotlight shining at the base of the tree. We don't want it to light up the tree like it is now. So the mega tree we want to insert some layers below to give us something to work with. Um, and the way I created it, when I created the sequence I used the shape effect. I'm going to show you a little bit of a different approach. Um, and we're going to drop a shader on here and typically shaders are used to create some really cool um, interesting effects but we're going to use it as a mask and um, Old Salt has created a couple of um, shaders that give us some different options and um, one of those is this invisible elliptical mask so by itself it really doesn't do anything cool but um, when we apply it uh, you know, to another effect we can uh, again mask or unmask with it so we're going to drop an on effect down below it, and we're going to take go back to this shader, and we're going to tell it that one is unmasked. So it's going to unmask this. Now the reason it didn't change anything is because this circle is really big, so we're going to dial that back on the X and the Y, and now we've got this circle here. Um, so what we're ultimately trying to create is an oval, so we're going to dial the Y back more. Let's get that X increased. And now we're going to take the center Y position and we're going to move it down all the way to the base of the tree. Get it down here. Might want to make it a little bit smaller. Something like that. And then we can increase the feather, which just gives it a little bit more of a soft edge. Um, uh, it's, it's, it's not going to make a, a huge difference, but it just softens it up a bit. So 
Now what we have is moves over and locks in. Again, we can shorten this to make it kind of a fast effect. And then if we go in here and we drop an image, uh, sorry, Let's see, image, we put it right on top. And let's browse. Um, let's go. Yes, I put my GIFs in the videos, which doesn't really make a whole lot of sense, but that's where I stuck it. So it's reindeer dance. Let's throw it on here. Um, that really should be resized before I, I use it in a um, a uh, sequence, but um, for here we can just scale it really quick, scale to fit, and then uh, maybe uh, speed up the frame rate. And then uh, adjust him up with the Y, and he's standing in the spotlight. So now if we go back and play this. That's what we get. So yeah, a couple different um, effects uh, that you can use in combination to create that uh, the illusion of a uh, spotlight going across your, your display and focusing in on your mega tree. And then you can throw whatever... Uh, other image or effect you want on there to um, emphasize. Hope that helps. Have a great day.